Hello everybody, AEW Rampage Review, Scott Golden here with Pro Wrestling Logic, AEW Rampage Review for the 22nd of uh, October 2021, um, one of the weaker Rampages, although they've only had a few, again, I don't know that this company needs a total of four programming properties plus pay-per-views at this point, I mean, on one hand, they have multiple talent. On the other hand, the quality of matches is, in fact, suffering, so I don't really know, or actually just falling flat more accurately. Anyway, um, Excalibur, Taz, Chris Jericho, and Ricky Starks are on commentary. Why do we need four people? Orange Cassidy with Chuck Taylor defeats Powerhouse Hobbs with Hook 804 and to advance to the semifinals of the world title eliminator. Wouldn't actually mind seeing Cassidy get a one-on-one -on -one match with uh, the winner of the Page versus uh, Omega deal, if it's going to be Omega. But obviously, I, lots of people think it's going to be Page. Pre-match recap of uh, Cassidy defeating Hobbs in 12 seconds with the orange punch from Dark the previous year. Cassidy... Is in a ladder match two weeks ago on Dynamite. Cassidy comes out wearing a DDP-style uh, DDP rib tape from back in the 90s. Uh, Hobbs hits a spine buster very early on for near fall. Takes the fight to the floor. Working over Cassidy's injured ribs and back. Matt Hardy cheers on Hobbs from the crowd. Uh, back in the ring, Hobbs uh, takes apart his... Uh, adversary with some suplexes on Cassidy. Cassidy then tries to counter uh, a suplex attempt with a spinning DDT-like maneuver. But Hobbs blocks that and clotheslines Cassidy. Uh, Hobbs was then in control of the show and then goes picture-in-picture picture break. Um, back from the break, Hobbs... Continues to dominate. Cassidy then tries cross body off the top, but Hobbs catches him and puts Cassidy on in the torture rack. Cassidy then breaks free with elbows and gets a near fall with a small package. Cassidy then goes for the orange punch, but Hobbs bullies him into uh, the corner and then follows up with a pair of Avalanches, Hobbs then works over Cassidy in the corner and refuses to adhere to the rules. And uh, Hobbs then uses power and Hook gets involved up in the apron to try and calm down Hobbs. Uh, Cassidy catches Hobbs in the mousetrap and gets a pinfall to the next round. Goes Cassidy and he faces the winner of Moxley versus uh, 10 in the semifinals. So obviously Moxley versus Cassidy is where we're going because there ain't no way they're putting 10 over anyway. World Title Eliminator Tournament, Brian Danielson versus Dustin Rhodes and Eddie Kingston versus Land Charger are set for Dynamite. Uh, and Moxley and 10 are set for Wednesday in Boston. Tony Schiavone calls out uh, Penta and Alex Abrahantes for an interview. Jericho explained that Ray Phoenix was injured in last Saturday's contest and then distracted by two fans in green mask in the crowd. And then uh, Penta, thinking they were FDR, confronts them. And Abrahantes from behind uh, takes them out. FDR, ce FDR celebrate the fact that they've taken him out by holding up the AAA tag belts and the Lucha Brother and uh, Lucha Brothers EW World Belt. Pack runs out to make the save. This obviously teases FDR uh, and Lucha Brothers um, rematch the pay per view. Dr. Britt Baker with Rebel and Jimmy Hader defeats Anna J. 651. Uh, Anna J looks great in this. Uh, obviously, a high-profile match for her. Sets up Baker's potential opponents at full gear. 
the exchange forums are only both women are looking for a submission and see their opponent quickly and easily escape. Uh, the crowd is solidly behind. Baker and Jay did have her fans for a little bit. Baker works over Jay's arm, but Jay reverses and catches Baker with a thrust kick. Jay then catches Baker with a flatliner and goes for the Koji clutch, but Baker escapes. Baker uses a hair pull to send Jay headfirst into the turnbuckle and uh, winked the camera. After a long commercial break, nearly four minutes, Baker then hits Jay with a sling blade and a twisting neck breaker for a near fall. Baker then gets the glove from Rebel, but Jay catches Baker with a DDT and sliding drop kick for a near fall. Uh, Jay then goes uh, for the clean slayer sleeper, but Baker gets a gets on the ropes, and then they exchange crucifixes for near falls, and Jay gets a sleeper on Baker. Hater distracted Jay from the apron, and Baker almost gets the pin. Distraction, and uh, Jay super kicked Baker on the floor, and then gets a sleeper again. Baker tried... The Bret Hart pin from WrestleMania 8, kind of the kickoff, but that didn't work. Jay then kept her locked in the hold for a little bit, and <coughs> excuse me, Baker then manages to get to the ropes and snaps Jay's neck against the middle rope. Baker then Manages to catch a super kick and then uh, ties her up in the lockjaw. Jay had to tap. Uh, and then both women in this match come out looking pretty strong. Uh, Post-match, Baker uh, locked on the lockjaw on Jay a second time. Ty Conti runs out, making the save. Conti chases Baker off and leaves the women's. World belt in the ring. Conti held uh, holds up the belt and makes fun of Baker, teasing a potential match at the Full Gear pay per view, which was later announced today, after before right before I recorded this. Anyway, um, in a rundown of Dynamite for tomorrow, uh, Jungle Boy and Brandon Cutler are on the show. Next week's Rampage, Danielson and Rhodes. Winner will face the winner of. Archer and Kingston, uh, TBS tournament bracket. Uh, four women will get a first round bye. Tournament will be uh, begin tomorrow on on this well today on Saturday's Dynamite. Thunder Rosa gets a bye and faces the winner of Anna Jay and Jamie Hayter. Uh, Jade Cargill gets a bye and faces the winner of the Bunny and Red Velvet. Now the Rose gets a bye and faces the winner of Serena Deeb and Sheeta. Um, and Chris Tatlander gets a bye and faces the winner of Penelope Ford and Ruby Soho. Uh, anyway, too many... I, I don't like this with all the buys and the extra people in the thing. Just keep it, in a, keep it, keep it an eight-person tournament and be done with it. Make it simple. Don't get so complicated. Uh, Pac defeats, defeats um, Andrade, although Tony Schiavone... Moderates the face-to-face -face second between segment between the two. Um, anyway, um, you know it's pretty basic. Everyone is barred from ringside from their uh, their you know other than the two combatants in the ring. Uh, Pac snaps off a couple super kicks, a German suplex, and a tope. During the early stages, he goes to the top for the black arrow, but uh, Andrade catches him in the ropes and then goes for a double knee in the corner. Pac then dodged it and hits a drop kick. Uh, Andrade asks Pac to give him his best shot, so Pac nails him with a boot and Andrade catches Pac with a boot and then sends him to the floor. 
And then Andrade hits a springboard, plancha to the floor. Both guys are selling, and the show goes to a picture-in-picture -picture commercial break. Back from the break, uh, Andrade then hits the Three Amigos for near fall. Crowd chants Eddie's name. Pock elbows out of a wrist lock, but runs into a boot. And then Andrade hits a slingshot dropkick with Pock. Slumped against the ropes, but uh, Pac drops out of the way. And uh, Andrade crashes and burned on the floor, uh, taking what amounts to an ugly bump. Anyway, Pac then comes out to the floor with a Rana, which sends uh, Andrade into a chair. Referee Aubrey checks with... Uh, Andrade, who continues uh, the match, and then Pac manages to come out on top with a moon, come off the top with a moonsault onto Andrade. Their fight forever chance, chant I hate, but anyway, um, you know, and then there's a tease of a cutter from Pac. And there's another near fall. Pac then goes for a brutalizer, but Andrade gets to the ropes before Pac could lock it in. Pac and uh, Andrade end up in the on the ring apron exchanging strikes. And Andrade drives Pac back first into the apron from an inverted DDT position. Uh, Andrade then follows up with a slingshot DDT. Out of the ring and on the ring apron, and this time both men crashed and burned to the floor. Um, Andrade then goes to the top for a moonsault, but Pac crotched him. Pac then delivers a top rope avalanche, brain buster, and covers. Uh, Andrade for a near fall. Andrade recovers and begins exchanging slaps and forearms with Pac. And then Pac catches um, Andrade with a spin kick and a poison rana. And then um, Andrade then counters with a back elbow. And both go for a pinning combination. Andrade then goes for a ham, hammerlock DDT. Pac counters with a cradle and gets pinfall. Lights go out. When the lights come back on, Malachi Black appears and spits mist in Pac's face. What a waste of um, uh, Malachi Black if that's where he's going next. Black gets a chair from under the ring, but Arn Anderson comes to the entrance to distract Black and... Um, Andrade, Cody Rhodes runs in through the crowd, taking out both Andrade and Black. Rhodes then hits his, uh, finish, but Black ducks out, or tries to go for his finish, but then ducks out of the ring. Not a bad, uh, setup for Dynamite's, uh, match between Rhodes and Black. This is the third time. Anyway, we'll be back with more right after this.